Hello everybody and welcome back to another video by Blissful Techno Health. In this video, we're going to continue on in our How to Use a Computer for Beginners with Windows 11. This video is lesson three and we're going to be going over File Explorer and how to move folders and files around, how to copy and paste, etc, etc. So let's go ahead and get started. Now File Explorer is like, it's super important to know and understand File Explorer, its functions, what it does, what it's for. File Explorer you can find on your taskbar down here on the bottom, you can see this manila folder here, that's your File Explorer. So if you click on File Explorer, it's going to bring up the File Explorer program. File Explorer, in a nutshell, is a program that allows you to explore and browse all of the files on the computer. And what I mean by all of them is, now I'm going to just jump around for a minute here. You don't have to, you don't have to pay a whole lot of attention to exactly what I'm doing. But you can see I am going to go into the Windows directory. This Windows directory is the Windows program itself with all of its components, files, and folders that are needed and used to run Windows, which is how we are able to run this entire program that we're looking at. So everything is in here, um, user profiles and etc. Now, when you first open up File Explorer, it's gonna bring you to this quick access menu where it gives you different folders to access um, desktop folders, your downloads, documents, pictures, music, videos, commonly used folders, and whatnot. So over here on the left, you can also see that we have access to a lot of these same things, desktop, downloads, documents, pictures, my healthy merch folder, music, Rico support, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So very, uh, it's put together very well in a way that is easy for you to access things that you're typically going to need. It's not very common. You're ever going to need to access the C drive directly in File Explorer and pull up folders and files. But from time to time, it may be necessary. Um, if you're a nerd like me, then you kind of do it pretty often because you're um, doing things that require you to be in here. But for the average user, that's not necessarily the case. Now, something else I want to point out is on the left over here, if you look down, you're going to see a This PC icon. If you click This PC, it's going to bring you to a similar window. But this window, if you remember, if you're familiar with Windows 7 and prior, this PC was known as My Computer. My Computer, when you clicked on My Computer on those older operating systems, brought you to this screen where it brought you to these shortcuts for your desktop, documents, music, downloads, etc., and it showed you your devices and drives. Now, under devices and drives, you can see I have one drive. It's my C drive. That's your main hard drive. If I have a secondary hard drive installed, it will be listed here. Typically, is a D or an E drive instead of the C. Now, you also have, if you have, well, if you also have like a USB drive plugged in, it will show up, or an optical drive like a DVD drive or a Blu-ray player drive plugged in, it will also show up down here. So all your drives are going to show up here. But you can see here, like I said on mine, I've just got literally the one drive. It's a laptop. There's no optical drive. I don't have any flash drives plugged in. Nothing. So you can see here. Um, that this is basically the same thing as the old My Computer icon. Now, if you want to create an ease of access to, to get here, if you're familiar with this and you like this, you can literally come down to this PC over here on the left, click, hold, and drag, and create a link on your desktop so that you can access that specific location menu anytime. You can also access it, of course, as like we did before through File Explorer, and it will bring you here to the Quick Access, and then this PC. But Quick, quick Access is nice because it shows you recent files you've opened, plus all your folders. Since it's not going to be very often, you have to hit the, your C drive or anything else, unless you have other drives you need to access, like your like a flash drive you have plugged in, or that secondary hard drive. It really just depends on the user and how you have your computer set up and what you're doing. 
but those are both there. But it is kind of nice to have a this PC shortcut, especially if you're used to having the my computer icon on your desktop. I kind of think it's silly that in Windows 10 and 11 they don't give you a this PC shortcut here, but you know, at least they've made it easy to make one. So you can make yourself one and put it there. So we've covered a few things here already. Let's talk about how to move files and folders around. So I don't have a lot of files and folders on this computer, but I have enough that we can play with, and if I need to, I'll make a quick one. But you can see I'm making videos on this one. So you can see I have videos here that I've made, been playing with. These are some files. And the difference, that this really important to understand or to think about this as is, File Explorer is literally like a filing cabinet in an office. It's literally got the folders, and inside the folders you have your files, okay? Literally just like a filing cabinet. And just like a filing cabinet, you can pull up any of these files anytime to view them, or you can throw them away by deleting them, and it's really pretty easy to use. They've changed some of the menus a little bit in Windows 11, but let's go ahead and go over that. So, as you can see here, I'm in my videos folder, and I've got these files, these videos. Now, if I want to view it, I just double click on it to pull it up. If I want to um, manipulate or change this, I can use the right click button, just once and it's gonna bring me up a menu bar. And in this menu, you have different options. You can show more options, you can share it over Skype if you have Skype, um, view the properties, etc., etc. Now, these are probably gonna be the most commonly used ones you're gonna use up here. They, these are new to Windows 11, how they've shown these icons. If you click on show more options, it's gonna give you the old school a menu that we used to have in all the previous versions of Windows 10 with cut and copy here and etc and delete. <clears throat> but once you get used to this, it really works just fine. You can see the trash can over here for delete. So if I don't want this folder anymore, or this file in this folder, I just click delete and away it goes. It's gone. Okay, now it put it in my recycling bin. So I can always get it back if I need to, but I don't want it. <clears throat> so that's how you delete a file. Now let's say I wanna move this file somewhere else, okay? There's a variety of different ways to do that. I can either right click on it, come over to copy, click copy, go to the location that I want to, to move the file to. In this case, let's say I wanna move it over here to pictures. I can click on pictures, and then I can right click anywhere in the empty space, and I can come over here and click on paste. And now it's gonna create a copy of that file over here. Now since it created a copy, I'm gonna have that in two locations now. I've got that over here and I've got it in pictures, okay? Now if I don't wanna create a copy of it, I'm gonna go and delete this. I can actually just move it. And there's two different ways of just specifically to move it. So let's take this one. And something else I'm gonna show you in the meantime so we can track this easier is I'm gonna right click on this and we're gonna rename this file. So I'm gonna come down to show more options. I'm gonna click on rename. And I'm gonna call this um, video one. And we'll rename this one too. We'll call it video two just so we have some files to play with. This one right here isn't show yet fully because I'm actually recording this video right now. <laughs> so that one's not showing up fully yet. It's not previewable or not viewable. It doesn't have a preview either. So let's take video one and let's say I wanna move it to pictures, okay? I can either click, hold, and drag and you can see it kinda shows a line and highlights where we're at with we're removing it. Now, if you wanna move it into the file pictures, I wanna make sure it's just hovering over it to where it shows how it's highlighted. And you can see it says move to pictures just below it. So I can click, drag, and let go, and now it's in here. And it's been removed from here. I moved it, I didn't copy it, okay? So let's say I did that on accident, 
I can go back to pictures, click, hold, drag, bring it over till it highlights over videos and let go and it will come back. Now, there's another way to do that. I can click on it, make sure it's highlighted, or if I don't even, I don't have to do that, but I can right click on it and I can do a cut. So now if I click cut, it's gonna show it like faded out, meaning, hey, you've got this cut, ready to move it somewhere. Now we can go into pictures, right click in the white space, and I can go paste. Just like copy and paste, but it's a cut and paste. So you actually cut it out. Now it's no longer in videos, I moved it over. I hope that makes sense. So let's say I wanna move it back, right click, we're gonna cut, come back to videos, right click, paste and now it's back. So those are some different ways to move your files around from folder to folder. But let's get a little more technical. And what I mean by that is, let's say I need to move this to a specific file, but I don't see it, or I need, let's say I need to move this video to a specific folder, but I don't see the location over here on the left. Well, this PC is gonna be really important at this point. Because if you drop down the little arrow here for this PC, you can see on the left here, I have all these different options. And we're gonna go ahead and move this over. If you see here with my mouse, I can move this right here to the edge of this and get a little double-sided arrow. It's very, very tricky. You have to have it right in the exact spot, but I can click and drag this over and give myself some more space. And we're gonna open this window up a little bit this way. Now you can see I've got the local C here. Now I can click on the arrow here and also bring that down, okay? And I can open up my user profile and I can open up this HM laptop and see that user profile and there's lots of different folders available here. So you can click and drag and move these to any of these that you want. So if there's one not showing up up here in your quick access or anywhere else, you can always find the folders that you've created or that you have available on your C drive. Now, let's say for example, I wanna create my own folder on my C drive, just in the root directory, okay? The root directory meaning I clicked on C and it brings me right to the first location on the disk C. Now, we're gonna create a new folder. The easiest way to create a new folder is there used to be a way up here in Windows 10 where you could just click on create new folder up here in this area. But over here you can see now it's on the left. So if I click on new folder, it'll give me a spot here and it says new folder highlighted because it's waiting for you to give it a name. So let's call this one test folder. Hit enter. There's my new folder that I just created. Now, there is another way to make a folder. If I right click in the white area here, click on show more options, I can highlight over new and folder and do the same thing. But the fewer clicks, the better. So just new folder and away you go. So I have my new folder, but let's say I'm in videos and I have this video one and I need to move it to that test folder. But that test folder isn't showing up right here. So I can Open up C, scroll down. Whoop, we wanna, it still has this open here. We're gonna close all this down so just C is open. And you can see in here, we have our test folder that we just created. Now I can just click on this and drag this over till it highlights over test folder. See that? Now you gotta be careful because if I hold this over one of those with an arrow on it, it's gonna start opening things and moving things around. Not, not moving things around, it's gonna start opening options because it thinks you wanna use that. So it can be really tricky. So you wanna be sure that you hold it over the exact file you want if you're gonna move it in this way. So you wanna click it, bring the highlight over test folder, and release it. Now it's in test folder. Okay, now if I don't want it in test folder, or let's say I don't wanna move it that way because it is kinda tricky sometimes, you can always use that cut and paste feature like I showed you before. So if I'm in videos, right click on it, cut, go to test folder, right click in the white area and paste it and it will move it that way as well. That's the recommended way 
Now, also I'm gonna teach you a little trick, a little shortcut. If I right click on this folder, yes, I have these options here for clicking. I can also just click on this and hit on the keyboard, Control X. If I hit Control on my keyboard and while holding Control, also hit X and then let go, it will put it into that cut mode. And then I can go to where I wanna move it and then hit Control V and it will paste it. So the keyboard shortcuts Control X will cut it and Control V will repaste it. Does that make sense? I hope so. If you have a question about that, shoot me a comment down below. The shortcut for copy is Control C. So if I hit Control C, test folder over here, Control V, it will also move it. But not only does it move it, it copied it, so I have that here and there. The copy feature is really mostly important when you're creating a backup of a file that you want on like a USB drive, totally separate drive. I hope all this makes sense so far. This is the basic information on how to move files around in your different folders, how to navigate your folders on the left, how to see your local disk C, and etc. and etc. I also showed you how to rename files, which can be very important, especially if you're creating content like I am, or you create a new file and you need to rename it um, to keep things organized or know what it is you're doing, because a lot of programs will just automatically give a file a name. So being able to rename that file is very important. Knowing how to move them around, knowing how to navigate around your computer and all the different files in your computer, um, very important to know how to do all that. So while we're here, let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, we're gonna go to this PC, and you can see our local disk C. Now if I double click on local disk C, let's specifically talk about the users folder. In the users folder, you're gonna have a list of all the different users on this, on this on your computer. So if you have three different people who use this computer with three different profiles, it's gonna show all those profiles here. On mine, I only have one. It's always gonna show a public directory as well, but you really don't need to pay much attention to that. So if I click on this user, you can see a lot of these exact same um, folders as you can see from Quick Access. The Quick Access is literally just a shortcut to where we are right now in the C drive. So I can access my documents from here, my downloads, and everything else just like you could from over here in the Quick Menu or the quick access, or from like in this PC. But this is where they actually are on the hard drive. They're on your local disk C, which is your hard drive, under the user folder, under your username folder, stored inside of here. And you can access different things in here. So I hope that makes sense how things are actually stored on the hard drive, and how all these icons all, everywhere else are really just shortcuts. For example, in a little more detail, if I go back to the root directory of the C drive, you can see that I have a program files and a program files 86. This is where all the program files are installed for all the programs that you have installed. So like I have this anarit program or shortcut over here. I'm in the program files. This is where that, that program's files are stored on the hard drive. So they're stored in this program files under this AnaJet folder in AnaRip. This is where all the files are for that program. This is just a shortcut to right here to when we're running the program from right here. So very important to know just that things are actually in locations in your file explorer. If you get a virus and stuff or malware, a lot of times they'll embed themselves into the Windows directory and, and other program files or in hidden locations, but this is where they're typically gonna be. Hopefully you don't get any viruses. You can keep, hopefully you keep your computer clean and are not downloading anything. They'll get you into trouble. But the main idea here is I wanted to show you how File Explorer works, how you have access to different uh, folders and files from different locations and places, the importance of understanding your hard drive and where things are located in the hard drive and how everything else really is just a shortcut to what's installed onto that C hard drive. The C hard drive is just where they're actually stored. <clears throat> if you guys have any questions, 
We've covered well, so we've covered everything in this video so far. So if you have any questions about any of this material, please shoot me a comment down below. I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. I appreciate you guys, and um, be sure to be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future uploads. Hit that notification bell. Hit the thumbs up button so we can move this up in the algorithm. And you guys have a fantastic day.